Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans here with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do another comic book review. And today guys, we're going to be talking about The Walking Dead, issue number 125. Now this is the second to last issue of All Out War and uh, let me just tell you guys that this was a good one. Um, you know, these second to last issues when it comes to these uh, main story arcs are always one of the most important ones. It sets the tone for this for the final issue and where the story is actually going to go. Uh, the artwork done here uh, by Charlie Charlie Adlard is fantastic. Lots of details in here. Uh, the book is always exceptional to look at. Uh, really enjoyed it and I loved it better than the last issue because the last issue was so dark and everything took place in nighttime. Uh, in this particular issue you get to see you know, basically, after, you know, the infiltration between Negan and his men, uh, you get to see uh, the after effect, or the aftermath of all the zombies uh, infiltrating, and Jesus and the group has got to take care of them, uh, get rid of them, and you get to see the return of Eugene, which was nice to see. Unfortunately, you get to see the death of Nicholas in here as well. Uh, the poor man, you know, you know, sacrificed his life so Nick, or so Rick could stay alive. Uh, and you find out an issue that Rick is not going to die because Dwight didn't taint the arrow with zombie guts. So Rick comes to the realization that he's going to stay alive. Uh, Rick comes to the realization that Dwight is going to be on his side. Excuse me. Um, and as the issue progresses, uh, the main part and what's important about this issue is the dialogue and the narration between Rick and Negan. Um, it's probably the last six pages here where they talk to each other and how they negotiate. And that's the key thing. You sit here going, there's this and there's that. And who's going to pull something on who? Who's going to trick who? And Rick really, you know, pulls together this speech to con Negan saying that we are going to work together and we can build a better civilization. And it's like Negan has this epiphany. And Rick was so convincing, you can see the emotion in his eyes, which was awesome. Uh, and then it's, again, Negan has this epiphany. He's like, fuck. He's like, fuck, fuck, fuck. He's like, he's like, I had it so wrong. He's like, I've been a dirty dog. He's like, I've been ordering everything. And just when you think Negan's going to turn corners, whew, right here. Holy cow. I was not expecting that. I was almost actually thinking these two were going to work together. And it's like, since you're such a fan of Negan here, as a as a you know as a villain, you kind of feel for the guy. It's like, damn, Rick is kind of an asshole in this issue, but Negan can't be trusted, and he's a threat, and that's why he has to die. Great issue. Highly suggest this. If you guys don't read the story arc, please get the trade when it does come out. I'm giving this one a five out of five stars. So it's a fantastic read. The best in this story arc so far. So guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. Leave your comments below. And guys, I'll see you in the next comic book review. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye.